Yeah, mind it's the rose. It's definitely not up there anyway. You sometimes a tree would be grafted high, you know, and you'd see the, the swelling. This, or this, the, the line where the graft yeah, was attached. Yeah. You, uh, usually the, the top part would be narrower than the bottom, you know. Uh, oh yeah. The, the, yeah, no, yeah, mind the rose, because that rose is climbs all the way up the top. Yeah, well, the, the, there's, but no see, there's no... There's no graft here anyway. It's obviously very low, probably at ground, right at ground level. It would have been grafted and, and like, my guess is that it was grafted right there at that level at the base, you know? But it's definitely, a gra it's grafted onto wild pear. Okay. Pear seedling. Um, because of the height that it's managed oh, to look, achieve. In, in those days, that, like that tree is is probably a hundred years old or more. Oh, I'd would say it be, it's more. Would, would that be a figure? Oh, more it could 100. easily be more than a hundred. Yeah, yeah. Because they take forever to grow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I would say this was uh, be planted by my great, great, yeah? Yeah. We, we rented here from 1800, mm -hmm. finally bought it in 1850. And I've been here since then. So, okay. so that could easily be planted by my great, yeah. great grandfather. Uh -huh. So, uh -huh. what do you think it is? This is my favorite, what I always assumed was a cherry tree. It's an apple. No. Yes. How can that be an apple? It's an ornamental ap ap crab apple. It, it produces no fruit. I think it might be called Floribunda. It red doesn't do any fruit. It's never done fruit. That's funny that it wouldn't do fruit, but I'm, I'm... And would this then be another crab apple behind it? Uh, this one yes, here? Yes, definitely, yes. So this is, so what I have been calling cherry uh, trees. Do you think this was a cherry as well? Yes, I thought no, these were just ornamental is, cherries. No, crab apple. So, ah, interesting. Ornamental crab, yeah. Yeah, so there's two of them. Yeah, yeah. Well, actually there's three because they're grown for their flowers. two of those. They're just grown for yeah. their, their ornamental flowers. Yeah, no, but they, these are, and they're gorgeous here under this canopy. And, uh, and it's amazing actually that they're surviving so well in the shade here. It's, it's, it's a dwarf. Well, when I came home, yeah. they were completely engulfed in ivy and mm. seedlings and saplings and all kinds of stuff. So <coughs> my grandmother, you can see there's Solomon's seal under here as well. Where is that? Do you see them hanging? <coughs> no. Solomon's seal is here. Mojo, move. Here. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, now this ash tree was the one that we had to take down a portion oh, yes. of that had oh, the bees. Oh, it was an incredible um, ash tree. Yeah. And wow. this trunk hit what is our almond tree, or so I've been told. Yes, and I straight away, I have to tell you, it's not an almond tree. Go on, what is it? Sorry. Oh, look, it's a here's cherry. the flower. It's a, uh, uh, it's a, it's a type of cherry. It looks like the bird cherry, um, but I'm not sure. Okay, is well, it... it was somebody else called it an almond tree. No, it's not an almond. Almond? Do you know the peach tree? Have you heard of the peach yeah, tree? Yeah, we used to have peach trees um, here. Uh, uh, you, so you're familiar with the blossom of the peach? Yeah. It's uh, almost identical. The leaves are almost identical. <gasps> They're cousins. Almond and peach are first cousins. Okay. Uh, brothers and sisters nearly. Okay, well, see, the peach trees were when I was growing up here. Yeah. So we you, haven't had you, peach trees since then because yeah. <laughs> you need a greenhouse you, for a peach yeah, tree. Yeah, yeah. But this tree, I'll tell you the story about this tree is, this tree here, these are babies of mm. that big one over there. Right. yeah, yeah is there is a caterpillar that comes, lands on it, tents the whole trees, chows down on it. And the, when they do their uh, cocoons and uh, the tree is cover, covered in a web and then the leaves come out again and the pupates pupate into the moths at the same time that our teenage bats start flying. Okay. So that is bat food, okay. which is why people say, why don't you spray to protect the tree? And I said, no, that's bat food for the teenage bats. Yeah. It's like dung beetles are the um, food for the freshly fledged. All the babies that are fledged now yeah. are eating the small dung beetles okay. that are now at the moment supposed to be prolific. You mean the bats are eating the dung beetles? No, the fledgling birds. Oh, the birds, right. Yes, no, yes. Uh, teenage bats aren't yeah. till later in the year, okay. much later mm -hmm. in the year. They haven't even started having babies yet, mm -hmm. or maybe they have. But no, now 
the first batch of songbirds are yeah. fledging and some of their first feeds are a lot of the dung beetles as well as the flies as well mm -hmm. as the other insects but mm -hmm. um so that's why this i don't spray this tree when it is mm. absolutely devoured mm -hmm. but i'm and, glad and to see there's young ones so it is yeah. a particular kind of cherry yeah, tree yeah yeah it's never borne any fruit yeah. now it was another um nursery person who said that uh it was an almond tree but he didn't there was no foliage at the time right and you can see, I mean, the blossom is a different kettle of fish as well to the it's, other it's cherries. A, it is. It's got this, I don't know what the botanical name for that is, a racine or something. Yeah, this, yeah, this, this, exactly. I think, that, I think you're right. When yeah. it is... It's a, a stalk with a... It's a stalk with... with a, a, a string of blossoms, basically. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. So that's a particular kind of cherry. Yep. Not almond. Um. I was so excited I thought I had <laughs> almonds. <laughs> oh, you're popping my bubble is all I can say. <laughs> But it yeah. is absolutely gorgeous. These, um, the, this blossom is really, really beautiful. 